Do I look like a children's entertainer? A little bit. Yeah, that's the false sense of security I want to lead you into. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you all right? Good. Um, <laughs> can all the guys give you a cheer, please? Hi, boys. Hello. Um, all the girls? Thank God you're here. <laughs> Any gays? <laughs> Not even a sympathy gay. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so the show's um, Stephen Bailey Neon Hat, and it's kind of like, basically, I broke up with someone, and it was horrific, as they always are. But then I didn't want to just do a breakup story, because I realised that what I did was I focused too much on one area of my life all the time. So I'm always like, throw yourself into one guy, or then just into work. And then when some shit happens, like, you have to pick your whole life back up, because that was your life. So now it's about finding balance. It's my life. Now the thing is, right, I moved to Oval um, with a boy, because I, I met a boyfriend, yay. Um, his name's Gary, which I think is really funny because you don't get a lot of gay Garys. And you don't, how many do you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the thing is, right, Gary's a lot hotter than I am. He kind of looks like Keanu Reeves if you squint your eyes, um, but it's really important to squint. And I think the reason I managed to trap Gary is because Gary's actually from Blackpool. And so I figured that I was probably the first person he met in his life with a full set of teeth. It's because I've started like, having more opinions. I totally realised beforehand I didn't really have opinions. I was just like, ha, ah, that's funny, I'll tell people. Whereas now I've got opinions on shit. I've really grown as a person over the past year. It's really, it's interesting. Have other people mentioned this? Have other people have said, eh, you've got too many opinions now, Stephen? Yeah, my dad says I used to be shy and retiring and now I'm a boring, miserable old twat. That was what he says, he's really, he loves me. Oh my God, right, I've got this whole singing in the shower thing, right, and I go home and I'm so comfortable, and I'm like, I got in the shower, right, and I was like, if I were a boy, even just for a day, and my dad walked past and went, I'd be really happy. Um, <laughs> but he is more offended about the ginger thing, right, because he's got lovely dark hair, but my mum kind of looks like Ronald McDonald with boobies. Which is generous, and um, like I'm really proud of the show, so that's what gets me on. But for comedy, it's just I always wanted to entertain. I never really knew which road, like road to go down. And I, I tried acting, and I'm abysmal at that. And I really wanted to be a pop star, but I can't sing. And apparently, I'm not pretty enough to get auto tune, which is so racist. And so yeah, so then I just had a go at comedy, and then I was like, oh, I can entertain people just by being me and telling my funny little stories. Does anyone do the sexting? Please, come on. Does it, you know what I mean by the sex thing? When a man sends you a picture of his erect penis being like, love you. <laughs> well, here's my theory on it, right? I feel like it's sending someone like a picture of a bunch of flowers. Like I want to be able to hold it and smell it for myself, thank you. And the thing is, right, Gary sent me um, a, a sexy text once, and it was a picture of his penis, and it, was, it said, thinking of you, and it was flaccid. Um, We're backstage at the ICC. I'm so excited to be here at Calm Comedy. Oh, oh. In the midst of a zombie apocalypse, she's dead. <laughs> this is my normal voice. <laughs> I don't want to work with this little purple shit anymore. Come back, I'm back, leave on this is more hairy. Ah!